This marble sculpture, created by Huang Tushui 100 years ago, captures in perpetuity the image of a well-groomed Japanese girl wearing a heavy fur coat. This is one of the few works by the sculptor known to exist, long kept at his alma mater, today's Taiping Elementary School in Taipei, to which the artist donated the sculpture. After 20 years of trying to persuade the school to loan out the sculpture, National Art and Culture Foundation chairwoman Lin Man Li finally secured their agreement. Following restoration work by Japanese sculptor Junichi Mori, the work is set to be shown at an exhibition on early Taiwanese artists held by the National Taipei University of Education in October. Although it's a marble sculpture, you can still see the fluffiness of the fur collar. The facial expression and the texture remain very lifelike. It seems soft and pinchable. Huang was born in Taipei in 1895, the first year of Japan's 50-year-long colonial rule over Taiwan. Huang's self-taught woodcarving skills and the work he displayed when he graduated from the teacher's school impressed the headmaster, who supported his enrollment at the then Tokyo Fine Arts School, making him the first Taiwanese to study in Japan's top art school. During his studies, Huang experimented with marble sculpture and developed his own distinctive technique, combining his skill working with wood and stone. In 1920, he became the first Taiwanese artist to have his work displayed at Japan's annual imperial exhibition, A Sculpture of an Indigenous Boy. In the years that followed, several of Huang's works featured at the prestigious annual event. <laughs> Marble is a Western art material, but since Huang started out in the Eastern art of wood carving, he applied his wood carving technique to marble, which gave his pieces a more delicate finish and made them more lifelike. Unfortunately, most of Huang's sculptures no longer exist and can only be viewed in pictures or through replicas. One of Huang's best-known works, Water Buffaloes, is a giant work which was restored by Mori and is on permanent display at Taipei's Zhongshan Hall. The sculpture in relief showcases rural village life and was one of Huang's last works. It has been described by Academia Sinica research fellow Yan Chuaning as the artist's way of preserving a lifestyle that he thought could be lost. Despite his short life, Lin quotes Huang as writing in a 1922 article that spiritual immortality is the only thing that lasts. CNA, Taipei.